Okay guys, today we're going to attempt to make a Doritos based pizza. I got this idea from a friend that came over one time and told us that he was, um, well he wasn't allowed to leave America for four years, he was in an American prison. And he says there was a way of making pizzas in there, so I was like aye, how do you do that like? And he says well, you know Doritos, and I went aye, guns very we we'll crush them down into like a powder substance, add a bit of water, and uh, we'll make a pizza base out of it. We'll leave it on the window, our night, like our through the day and that. And um, apparently the sun dries out the Doritos and it makes a nice crusty base. He says after that we'll just uh, swap some tomatoes and all that and slap some toppings on it. And then put it in the sun again and apparently it cooks the pizza. It must have been very hot where he was, I'll tell you. So I'm just going to attempt it. So we're going to be using three bags of Doritos and they're not the little bags by the way, they're the kind of sized ones. Uh, tomato puree and obviously some cheese. Uh, let's get going. I mentioned my daughter will be helping me with this video because I'm a bit camera shy and I will not show my face. First of all you want to empty your Doritos. Daddy, you said Doritos again. Doritos. Corrected into the bowl just like that. There we go. Now we're going to mash it all up, turn that into powder, baby. Right, and that should do it for now. Now we're gonna add a bit of water in slowly and we're gonna try and create a paste to make the pizza base. So we'll add just a tiny little drop at a time of water, keep mashing it up just to get that consistency going. A bit more than that, like, keep going. So after 100 ml of water, we've finally got the consistency. Katie, grab a bit and squeeze it. Yeah, that holds its shape, so now we're going to slap it into there and make a pizza base. So we're going to pour it straight into here. We're going to spread that out evenly. You didn't need to push that hard, like, but spread it out. Well, I had to give my daughter a little bit of a hand there to even it out, but there it is, what well, pizza base, um, and it smells absolutely gorgeous and all. So next is to put it in the oven um, and let it dry out a bit. I'm going to preheat the oven to uh, 180 degrees and um, I'm going to set it in for about 5 or 10 minutes and then take it off. Before we um, put it in the actual oven, we're going to just brush it over with some water. And hopefully this will help stick together better once it's heated up. You can go ahead and brush, Katie. So we're just going to brush water over the top. This will help it stick together a bit better for, for the finished um, product. Over doesn't actually work because it just drags the the crumbs all over the place. So I've decided, yeah, dabbing works great. Katie's just going to go ahead here and keep dabbing away. If this is true what he says, it's kind of tastes kind of mental. I've never actually seen any videos on YouTube of a Dorito based pizza, nor have I heard about it being made in prison before until he told us. So I was just curious to say, can it actually be done? And I'm actually going to put that to the test. I wish I had him here today to tell you exactly how they did it. Now we're putting it in the oven for approximately five minutes. So, now that the toppings is on, we're gonna hide it in the oven for a further few minutes and hope the God it holds together. And this is it halfway done. A few more minutes. Not long now. 
Now we're going to remove it. Let me see what we've got to work with. Take the back of the oven, make the oven cook that side. But um, it's trial and error, really, isn't it? I've never done it before. We're just going to let it cool down, so we can try and cut it into slices if it will allow it. Oh. Now it needs to be perfect. Right, so it's done, and Katie's going to try and pick up a slice. I can see this gun terribly wrong. Go on, then, Katie. I need to cut it a bit more. Go on, then. <coughs> oh, I can just see this being crumbed. Got it. Jesus. I need to break up a bit more here. <laughs> Where are you? There we go, look. Uh, flip it over, let me see the bottom of that. Ah, not too shabby. Well done, Katie. So there we have it. The Dorito based pizza with cheese and tomato puree. As you can see, it's pretty crumbly. But it's just trying to get the consistency right there, uh, try and hold it all together. I think the cheese held most of it, but I've just had a little bite of it there and it was pretty chewy. But if you can find a better way of making it, please feel free to uh, share that with us. Eat it. Well, yeah, I go for it. Mm. What's it to your sleep? It's mint. Is it? Uh huh. <laughs> Straight up, man. Here, I want you to try it. Okay. Didn't you get it over the top of it? That's good. I love that. You're taking the piss on me. No. Is that actually nice? I thought it was chewy. It's maybe a little bit chewy, but I don't think it's that chewy. It's less chewy, chewier than real pizza. <laughs>